parents, please use this video to teach your young children to never ignore their creep alarm. Thank you for joining us on today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Korea. Today's video comes to us from Moscow in Russia. Today's video is brought to you by Magtech Ammunition, the exclusive supplier of range ammunition for all active self-protection training. You can see the young girl on the right walking up the front step of her building. Now watch the guy behind her as well. as She has to, I think, ring to get somebody to open the door for her. He is going to kind of loiter around. He's not walking around the building. He's kind of waiting around to see what happens here. And when she finally is going to be admitted into the building, he is going to use that to come into the building himself. Now, as we change angles, you're going to see her walk in and he is right behind her. Watch, this is interesting. The facial gesture here, he's going to cover his face a little bit and, and you know, wipe his mouth. Now then, she goes back like she's going to the elevator and then decides, nah, she doesn't want to do that. She's going to go over to this other place instead. Now watch as it gets really interesting. So far, I'm just a little leery because the guy used, you know, her access to get in. But as she walks out and walks back towards the door, she is going to head out. She's like, mm, nope, didn't go to the elevator, kind of did a little bit of a dipsy do there and then pushes her way out and leaves the building. And as she's gone, you notice he's going to look and go, oh, wait, where did she go? Instead of just getting on the elevator and going up to wherever it was he was going, instead he's going to look and when she doesn't come back, he is going to actually take off down and out and away and walk out after her again. Now, the interesting thing to me here, watch as he stops by the front door here and he's going to push his way out of the door and open it because he'd open a little bit and then he's going to finally walk his way out. Now, she has gone and gotten another adult and they walk up together and he is going to walk right by her. And again, if you go read the news stories linked in the description, they actually did arrest this guy. And again, a bunch of stuff for us to think about out of this one just sets the creep alarms off. Let's think about lessons in just a minute. Really important stuff here. And I do have a question for you. Want to get some discussion going in the comments about whether you talk to your children about this. Mine are a little bit older now. My older two are way out of the house, married, grown, all those things. But my two teenagers who are still at home, we talk about self-protection all the time. And I teach them about their creep alarm a lot. Do you teach yours? Let's think about other lessons out of this one. So first things first, parents teach your children that they are capable of defending themselves. I think a lot of times that we don't want to scare our children, and I think that's really wise. And it has to be age appropriate, of course. But your children do have a creep alarm that something's off and something's not right. And mom and dad, you should definitely teach your children that it's okay to pay attention to their creep alarm. In fact, they should. If something feels wrong, it probably is wrong, and they should probably do something about it. And a lot of times we have kids like this who are latchkey kids or whatever. Actually, I grew up a latchkey kid, so having to let myself in the house and do those things and pay attention to my world was important to me and is important to a lot of Americans today. So it's something for us definitely to teach our children so that they can stay safe. Now, notice that it takes her quite a while, though, to get buzzed into this building, and I see that pretty frequently as well. But one of the things that definitely sets us off here is as she goes into the building, notice he uses that to, uh, you know, get some access himself. And I think he was pretty close here, but one of the things that I teach people of all ages is the fact that you should not allow someone else to use your access to a restricted space. Whether that's your building in an apartment like this, a gated community, a restricted area, something like that. Now that's harder for kids to do for sure, but if you can, get that door closed behind you quickly, especially if you felt like maybe something's a little off here, is an important skill. Now, of course, I wouldn't want a child to, you know, confront an adult because things could escalate and get bad, but because she doesn't do that, she doesn't necessarily know how to do that, he's able to get into the building behind her. Then, though, she does something really savvy here, and I'm not positive for all the motivations, but again, she goes, ah, I don't necessarily want to go back there, and, and decides that she doesn't want to pin herself by the elevators here. My guess is, is that this is a dead end, that this is just a, you know, a dead hall, that, that she's got nowhere to go other than go up in the elevators. And so she decides, you know what? I don't want to be alone in this spot. And making that decision and taking steps to protect yourself is awesome. And parents, uh, you know, what I want you to do is I want you to teach your children to take a step to protect themselves, to not get frozen by what should I do, but to say what would make me safer right now and go do it. And she just kind of button hooks out of there. Now this guy, again, if he had just gone up to his, you know, room or whatever, I would have thought nothing about it. If he had just gone up the elevator, okay, fine. But the fact that he doesn't really tells me something's going on here. And instead she just decides to get back out into a public space, which might or might not be a good idea because he might be able to take her and take her to a second location from there. 
But notice again that she did something to make herself safer. And I think as a youngin, that is an excellent thing to do. And she went out to go get help and kudos to her for that. This is what makes me think this was a bad juju thing. And again, the news stories say that this guy was arrested. They're really worried about him and all those things. Because again, he followed her back out. He wasn't just looking at getting into the building. He was clearly interested in her. And notice all the little grooming cues and the way that he stays under the radar of most people. I think that's important. Next, notice that our bad guy uses that camouflage of I'm just a normal person doing normal things in order to get away here. Hey, I don't have any problems or whatever. These abusers, these kidnappers, these bad things, they happen in these kinds of guises. These guys are absolute masters of staying camouflaged. And, and if this little girl had come up to you and said, hey, I need somebody to help me, you know, she knew you or whatever, and said, hey, so I feel like somebody is trying to do bad things to me. Can you help me get into my house? Then having the ability to do that, you better have some significant empty-handed skills. So he does just pass them by, and, and again, she isn't harmed. And absolute kudos to her for that. One final thing that I do want to talk about, let's make sure that we recognize that stranger kidnappings are very rare, specifically in the United States. Not a common thing here at all, much more common for somebody to be abducted by somebody that they already know. But stranger kidnappings do happen and they are exceedingly dangerous for the person being kidnapped. So let's make sure that our children know to listen to their creep alarm, never to be taken to a second place by another adult. Again, adults never need a child's help, so we, we train our kids not to try Try to you know feel obligated to help an adult to listen to their creep alarm take a step to make themselves safer go find a trusted adult to help them to be safe and this little girl I'd say covered her asp